Welcome back to an episode of Can North Flow Draw Badger this year? Back in 2014, I drew my top 5 saddest warrior's deaths to make it into a video. And in 2020, I redrew the drawings I made in that video, alongside with some commentary in which I explained the changes I made. And now I hate looking at that video because the art is old. <laughs> Technically, it has been closer to one year than two since that one, because if I remember correctly, I made the video at the end of 2020 and it is now the early January of 2022. I have actually not drawn a whole lot of cats in the past year, but I still felt like it was time to redraw my redraws. Like the last time I did this, I'm going to be commentating the speed paints for however long I have something to say, and then let the speed paint play until the end with music only. So, starting off with Feather Tail. I feel like composition-wise, not much changed between the original drawing and the one that I made in 2020. It's pretty much the exact same, except that I made it better. Moving on to this year, I still kept most of the details the same, but I changed a uh, select few things. First of all, I made the pose different because I felt like it. I don't really, I don't think there's anything wrong with the original pose, necessarily. This one just felt correct this time. It, it has a little bit of a different vibe to it, like it's maybe earlier after the pillar has broken loose than in the 2014 and 2020 drawings. So Feather Tail is still holding on to the pillar. I also made the pillar appear different. In the 2020 one, it's kind of just like this lump of stone. This time I actually looked up references for stone pillars, particularly stalactites, I think is the word. Because looking up references is, is just generally a good idea when you're drawing something that you haven't drawn a lot. I have never drawn a stalactite before, but I think that it ended up looking better than the stone pillar in the 2020 drawing. As for the character design, I changed it from the 2020 one. I used the character design that I used in the AMV that I made last year, so the something entirely new AMV. Except that I made it a little bit more detailed, because this time I'm not animating it, so I can do that. I also completely changed the way that I do coloring the characters in the 2020 drawing and most of the 2020 drawings actually. It is sometimes difficult to tell the shading and the markings apart from each other. And that's because I'm using hard lines for both of them. And there's nothing wrong with doing shading or markings like that, and that is usually what I would do with animation. But, you know, it has its time and place, and when I'm drawing an illustration that's just like a still image, I feel like sometimes it can be better to not do things like that, so I instead use the watercolor tools in Far Alpaca to paint both the markings and the shading, just to make it look a little bit more appealing. I gave this drawing a background this time around, more of a background that I have given it before. It's pretty simple, it's just little itty bitty stone pillars. I like the colors in this one. Next up is the cinder pelt drawing. <laughs> and once again, I have to draw a badger. I never draw badgers. I don't think that I have drawn a badger for anything other than these three drawings. And at least on the second and third time, I actually ended up looking at references for them, but it's still, like you can you can tell that I had a lot of trouble in 2020 with drawing the badger. And I think I know the reason why. I mean, just look at an English badger. This is a handsome boy. It's a, it's a little boy. It's not particularly menacing. <laughs> and its head is shaped weird, you know? Like, I didn't know how to draw this thing looking at all scary. And they're also not, like, particularly big from what I've understood. They're quite small. It's difficult to make an English badger look trending. This time I did a few tricks to try to accomplish that. I put the badger in the foreground so that I could make it appear bigger by just, like, having it be closer to the quote-unquote camera than the other characters. I also made it kind of, like, be in the dark like in the darkest corner of the cave that we can see, so that it could be, I don't know, more menacing. 
I planned the lighting of this piece in advance so that I could make the cave seem dark with still having the Batcher and Cinderpelt particularly stand out. I put Sorrel Tail kind of like behind this boulder so that I could still make her not stand out as much to make her still like hide in the dark while having the light be cast on specifically Cinderpelt and the Badger's face. I have not been able to keep this drawing's composition consistent across like any of these drawings. I guess Leaf Pool has stayed approximately in the same place, but everything else has changed. Sorrel Tail has just jumped all around the den. And Cinderpelt has gotten like more and more fierce with every drawing that I've done. I don't know why Leafpool has green eyes in the 2014 and 2020 drawings. She doesn't anymore. I changed it. This drawing took me like much much longer than any of the other drawings. I think it's partially because there were just more characters than in any of the other ones. And you know, the Badger obviously takes me more time to draw because I'm not really used to doing that. But also, you know, like this... It's difficult to get this one right. I still... There are some things that are bothering me about this piece. I try not to spend too much time on these redraws because I know that I didn't spend a lot of time on like the original drawings that I made back in 2014. But yeah, still, this one always just takes me a while to draw. You know, I'm, I'm still, I think this one is definitely much nicer than the one that I made in 2020. I, I really don't like the drawing that I made in 2020 now. <laughs> Next up is Batcherfang. This one went through quite a big change between 2020 and 2022. The one I drew in 2020, it's not... There are some things that are weird in this one, but when I looked at it, I realized that there isn't really particularly much that I wanted to change. I think that Batcherpaw looked a little bit too old in this one. The pose is a little bit weird, but aside from that, there just wasn't really that much that I thought should be different. Really the only thing here that I really really wanted to change was that I feel like that broken star in the corner, like it's just a little tacky. I was wondering if I could somehow get that broken star in the piece without just drawing it in the corner, because I still wanted to keep it. It was in the original and it was in the drawing that I made in 2020, so I didn't want to just leave it out. Uh, then I came up with what if I had like shadows of tree leaves form a star on the ground and then the blood from Badger Fang's wound could kind of like form cracks on it. And I really liked that idea. I made the grass a little bit less blue and more green. I don't think that's necessarily better, it's just different. It's also not worse. I made Batcher Fang smaller as I planned to do. And just overall, I think I made the 2020 piece much more simple than the 2020 or 2014 pieces. Which is not a bad thing, I would actually argue that it's a good thing, but it, you know, it's kind of like a matter of personal preference. <laughs> Then there's Moskit, and yes, I put the ghost by Nviro in the background, <laughs> because of course I would. And I also used the ghost Moskit design, because of course I did. So that's why Moskit is grayer this time. This is maybe the piece that has stayed the closest to the original. In the 2020 drawing, I feel like Moskit just looks kind of really bored. That's how I look like when I don't want to get up from bed. 
that's not what I was going for. They're supposed to be dead. So I made them face the ground more in this one. Not much more has changed. I also added some trees in the background. I'm kind of struggling with figuring out the scale that the tree should be. I feel like in this one the perspective isn't really that obvious. It sort of looks right, it sort of looks like the trees are just really tiny, which they can be. Technically that wouldn't be wrong either. I have been struggling with making the trees big enough in relation to the cats, because cats are very small and trees are very big and I keep drawing the trees too small in relation to the cats. Then, last but not least, Spotted Leaf Second Death. <laughs> I can distinctly remember that I said in the last video that why is Firestar so far away from Spotted Leaf is if he's like supposed to be sad. But, but they are still social distancing in the 2020 piece, so I brought them even closer together this time around. I also noticed that I've had kind of this problem in which I make the backgrounds like very two-dimensional. Yeah, this time I decided to add a little bit more dimension to the background. Put some trees in the distance, things like that. Again, like in all of these pieces, I colored the characters with this watercolor-esque style. I made the moon act as kind of like a spotlight to make this scene very dramatic. At one point I thought, do Starkland cats even like, do they, do they bleed? Because I don't remember that ever happening. It might be that they just bleed like normal cats, but I, I don't remember. So I made this decision to make Spotted Leaf bleed like galaxy slime instead. <laughs> I mean, that was certainly a choice that I made. You know, just to make it super clear that she's a Starkland cat. Actually, now that I look at the piece that I made in 2020, apparently I, I just made her kind of glittery. It would be easy to add little stars on her, uh, but maybe I won't. You know, it's it's done. I'm not gonna work on it anymore. I worked on it for way too long already. I also feel like Firestar kind of... It, he looks super young in the piece that I made in 2020 and also in the piece that I made in 2014. I feel like maybe me and many others kind of tend to draw Firestar as very young, probably because we are fondly remembering SSS Warrior Cats. He is stuck being a little anime boy. He cannot grow old. I gave him a singular wrinkle. <laughs> because that's what I do. Also a beard and some scars, just to try to make him look a little bit older. <laughs> the death wound on Spotted Leaf is not very dramatic. It's, it's, it's quite small. Like, is that enough to kill you, Spotted Leaf? Maybe it is, maybe it is, okay. I'm making fun of this piece, but I actually, I do like it quite a bit. I think this is, I'm not sure if I have a favorite out of the ones that I made this year, but this is definitely like among my favorites.
so that was my last drawing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I enjoy making this type of content and it also just happens to be the only type of content that I really get paid for. <laughs> Tell me your uh, top five saddest warrior's deaths in the comments or <laughs> something. Thank you. Bye bye.